Hello and welcome back to another episode of Triple Crafts. Today we're going to be making triple hammocks. Uh, for this project, you'll need some fabric. I have two different colors. I'm going to do an inside and an outside. I think I have a little less than a yard of each. Um, we have a pattern that you can download from our website. I'm going to need some bias tape and some thread to match whatever fabric you're using. Download and print out the three page pattern on our website. Uh, we'll tape it together so the arrows match and then cut out the shape. So once your pattern is cut out, uh, lay it out on the fabric. We're going to need four of these shapes for each of your colors. So lay it out, trace out the shape, and then cut out from your fabric. I've cut out four of each from a pattern. Uh, the next step will be to just work with one side. So we'll take this away for now. We want to take two pieces, put them front to front, then we're going to sew along the long straight edge to connect the two together. So pin and then use the sewing machine. I have now sewn our seam here. The next step will be to open this up. Take our other two pieces of fabric that we cut earlier. We're going to put it so the two nice sides are touching each other. I'm going to pin along this seam here, sew it, and then take our fourth piece of this color, do the same thing right here, pin this side, and then sew it. Is what it should look like. Kind of has that boat hammocky kind of shape. We're going to do the same thing with our other type of fabric. Uh, one will be the inside and one will be the outside. We have now sewn both of our pieces. One will be the inside and one will be the outside. Uh, if there are two different ones, decide now which you would like to be on your inside. I think I would like the sparkly purple as the inside of the hammock and then the blue as the outside. So I'm going to turn the blue inside out. And then we're going to nestle the purple inside. We're going to line it all up and pin it. I'm going to sew it all into one piece and then we'll put the bias tape on to cover up the seam afterwards. Our next step is going to be putting on the bias tape and also creating our little loops to hang our hammock from. Uh, so to start off with that, take your bias tape. Uh, we're going to want to leave an extra eight inches on either side to create the loop. Uh, this is 27 inches to start with our pattern. So we wanna cut two pieces at 35 inches. All right, I will show you how to make the loop using the bias tape for the end of the hammock. So you want to take the end of the bias tape and just fold it over. This is where that extra eight inches is going to be. It's about four inches further on and then turn back, open it up, and you're going to just slide your hammock inside that fold, fold it over, and then you'll pin it. And then when you sew it, you will have a nice solid loop to hang your hammock from. I'm going to fold this over, open that up, slide it over, and then we're going to go along and pin it. And that should reach just about the end on this side. 
And then with your other piece of bias tape, you're gonna start where the first loop was and go to the other end and make your other loop with the second bias tape. There you have it folks, your very own Tribble hammock. Um, so you can suspend these with, uh, with rope or whatever between your favorite trees or chairs and your Tribble will have one relaxing day.